Hi, my name is Coffee Co, and welcome to a new video. So today, I am standing up. I can move because I have decided to actually get a good kind of setup, which, <laughs> which means I'm filming uh, with a bunch of books. So a pile of books this tall is my tripod. I'm going to order an actual tripod once I finish filming this video. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm standing up, super exciting. Moving on. <laughs> so, um, today's video is going... Oh, yeah, I'm cosplaying Kokichi. I... I told myself I would never do this. Today's video is going to be a cosplay story time. It is the story of my homophobic anime friend in middle school. <laughs> um, so... Let's just get ready. <laughs> Alright, so, I believe this happened in grade... Either at the end of grade 6 or the beginning of grade 7, I'm not too sure, but I do know that I was like 11 years old. Um, so to start off, I've never been a really religious person, I've never been homophobic. Even when I was younger, I think I was just like, sort of confused by it when I was like, 9, but then I was like, oh, okay, they just like each other, cool. Um, I myself am bisexual, I identify as a bisexual. <laughs> I think when I was 11 I started to realize that I was bi, so I especially wasn't homophobic then. Um, so yeah, I've always been an ally and now I'm a part of the community. So there's my point on that. <laughs> as well, when I was in middle school I had a lot of friends who were in the LGBT community, so that added on to my opinion of this person in the end. <laughs> when I was in grade 7, that was when I first started to get into cosplay. Um, and at first, I don't know why, I was really obsessed with like the idea of like making all of my cosplays and never buying anything. I don't know, you can buy your cosplays if you want, it doesn't make you more or less of a cosplayer, but I guess that wasn't in my mind at the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was really obsessed with making them. Uh, and in my middle school, we had these like, they were like electives that you could take like every Thursday. Yeah, it was like Thursday afternoons and like you could choose to do whatever. So like, I think I was in like, one of them was like a cooking one and I remember making a bunch of cupcakes. There's like art ones. There's like ones for everything like sports, cooking, art, sewing, which we're gonna get into. Um, so yeah, me as a beginning cosplayer was like, I want to be in the sewing one because I want to sew my cosplays and do cosplay stuff. And funny enough, like, I'd say a good quarter of that class was actually people who were interested in anime and cosplay as well. <laughs> I was in the sewing elective. I was excited. And I was really excited when I walked into the classroom and I saw multiple people wearing anime merch and I was oh god I need to mention this <laughs> when I was 11 when I was in grade 7 I was a weeaboo like I was a full-on weeb like said words in Japanese was like oh my god yeah we as we've learned from the last video <laughs> um yeah I was annoying I was so annoying and I was just the cringiest person in the world I went to school in full cosplay it was bad. So me, being a total weeb at the time, was like, oh my god, people are wearing anime stuff. This is my home. I met my, some of my closest friends from middle school in that class. Um, they would go to that class wearing cosplay, and I would try to sit with them and hang out with them. There was one certain person in the class who also drew my eye because she would always be wearing anime merch of like Hatsune Miku and stuff like that. So, one day, I decided to sit at her table. I think I can say her name. I don't remember her last name, so this is fine. So I decided to sit at her table, and I learned that her name is Kira. At the time, when I was her friend, I always joked to her that it's like, Oh, you're like, light, you know, because he's Kira in Death Note, ha ha ha. Little did I know that she was actually pretty similar to light in some regards. <laughs> I talked to her, um... I learned that she liked to draw and that she was really into Vocaloid and she ended up drawing me a picture of Hatsune Miku uh, that I really liked so I put it on my wall when I got home. <laughs> um, I distinctively remember talking to her and her friend about fairy tale because I didn't know what fairy tale was at the time. What a glorious time that was. Um, yeah, I didn't know what fairy tale was and they were talking to me about it and they were like, oh my god, it's the best anime ever, you gotta watch it, it's literally the best and I'm like, Okay, when I went home that day, I looked it up and checked it out 
and I'm not sure exactly what episode it is, I will try to find it, but I ended up finding an episode, I guess, where... don't know what his name is. Is his, is his name Natsu? The pink-haired one from Fairy Tale. I've never actually watched Fairy Tale. I just, I watched like two episodes and then was like, no. Fairy Tale and Grey, the two guys, right? So I found this episode where the two guys, two men, um, they were like on this like water slide and like it was like a gay episode. Like they were doing gay shit on the water slide. <laughs> Like they were doing gay stuff on like the water slide and like everyone watching it was like, oh my god, yaoi, because it was 2015. So I just remember that, okay? So it was like an episode with those two and they were like hugging each other and doing stuff like that. So I remember going to school and talking to Kira about it and I was like, uh -huh, did you watch this episode? It was so funny and you know, talking about it. And she was like, oh no, 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 I hated that. I hated that episode, it was so bad. Like, I hate that ship. And when she was telling me, you know, her distaste about it, I thought she just meant like the pairing. I didn't think she meant the like genders of the people involved. <laughs> so I was like, oh, well, why don't you like the episode? Like, it's so funny. And she was like, well, it's two, it's two guys. It's, it's two, it's two men being in a relationship, doing like, relationship things. Relationships are only between women and men. And I was like, <laughs> what? She just keeps going off about how like gross their relationship is and how she finds it like disgusting that these two men were ever like implied in any way to be in a relationship. And I, <laughs> I don't know what I said. I can't remember what I said. But I literally remember once she, like, those words came out of her mouth, because I remember her being like, it's disgusting. I remember just, like, slowly backing away, just like... <laughs> and then I just left and I don't think I really said anything. I was just like, oh, okay, bye. And then I just slowly walked away. <laughs> like, 11-year-old me, like... Even when I was super young, I was like, ooh, you're a homophobe? Ooh, that's embarrassing. Keep that to yourself. <laughs> and then I remember going home that day and ripping up the picture of Hatsune Miku she drew. Because <laughs> I was like, mm -mm, I don't want no art from a homophobe. <laughs> and I remember her trying to talk to me after that, but I was just like, no, please don't talk to me. I don't agree with your views. Thanks. And then later in that year, I fully came out as bi to my friends, so, yeah. <laughs> and it, it was sad, I, I, I thought it was really sad at the time because we did have a lot in common and like, she was like the friend of mine that like was the most in anime and I talked to her about a lot of stuff, but yeah, we got different uh, moral codes. <laughs> we got different opinions on human rights, so. <laughs> so that was, that was that time, that was fun. <laughs> Luckily, I haven't interacted with many like homophobic people since because I just I tend to surround myself with people in the community um, But yeah <laughs> So the way to deal with homophobes or to just slowly walk away from them So it was kind of a short story, but I I like randomly remembered that that happened and I was like mm, I should talk about this 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 is a good this is a good one so yeah in this household we do not support homophobia in any way but yeah that's it uh if you want to see more of whatever this is um <laughs> feel free to subscribe i will see you guys in the next video stay safe wear a mask thank you so so much for watching i love you all so much thank you for almost 200 subscribers by the way that's insane uh, i will see you guys in next week's video Play that outro.